वेलकम द राहुल इलेक्शन रिग एक्सपोजे हियर ऑन टाइम्स नाउ इज सेट टू बिकम बिग अक्वायर ग्रेटर अर्जेंसी एंड ऑल्सो ऑफकोर्स देर विल बी मोर क्वेश्चन फॉर द कांग्रेस टू आंसर एज वी गो अलॉन्ग वाई बिकॉज ऑन फ्राइडे एंड दीज आर द हार्ड फैक्ट्स आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बीट अराउंड द बुश ऑन फ्राइडे कांग्रेस लीडर्स Tiwari and Dikshit admitted and didn't deny respectively that election is an elevation. That's right. They talked about how the Congress party was just a proprietorship and all the cards had been laid on the table in a pre-decided manner. So that even if someone were to contest this election was to somehow muster the courage to challenge Rahul Gandhi it would be only a losing cause and it would only make rahul gandhi appear stronger on saturday times now will now play out the tape of a delegate that's right you heard the darbaris now hear the delegate the delegate who will vote for rahul gandhi that's right in the congress system at the block level delegates are supposed to be elected a number of delegates from various states then become what is known as the electoral college and it is they who will then vote for the president of the party but if the delegates themselves are not elected and if they are selected then from top to bottom from top to bottom the entire system is rigged and if it is rigged then the outcome is predetermined to favor just one individual this delegate that we've caught on tape clearly admits he was not elected but picked in violation of party rules to vote that's right this admission proves and he's not the only one let me be honest with you there are several other delegates who on their facebook pages who have gone public suggesting that they were selected not elected to vote for rahul gandhi the admission proves the violations of election procedures as laid down in article 12 of the congress constitution itself now if the congress is own constitution is being violated and those who are supposed to uphold that constitution cannot do so then can the congress in the long term be trusted to uphold the constitution of this nation of ours those are the fundamental questions if the sanctity of the office of the president of the congress party is not respected then can we respect the leader of the congress party if he were ever to become the prime minister of this country to respect the sanctity of the prime ministership of this country and the office of the prime minister of the country those are the fundamental questions this story is now going to start asking of the congress party this is not some flimsy expose riding on the back of an individual who the congress is dismissing as a lightweight this is an inquiry into the heart of the congress system a system that rahul gandhi promised that he would change and reform to make it more democratic to make it a mirror image of india's aspirations you and i ladies and gentlemen get to the top on the back of our hard work but there are individuals who are abusing the very concept of the term meritocracy yes meritocracy has become for them just a facade and that is what is shocking listen to this delegate who was once again in conversation with congress insider shadad punawala let the congress not fool you into suggesting that shadad punawala is some entrepreneur free agent he is an insider of the congress party a legitimate office holder of the congress party he is a secretary of the maharashtra congress he is also very importantly a prime time face appointed by the congress party to speak on its behalf invited by the congress party to defend its interests and its outlook and its policies and its pronouncements and most importantly the individuals 
the individuals who Shahzad Punawala has stung are not incidental to the party. Manish Tiwari is not incidental to the Congress party. Sandeep Dixit is not incidental to the Congress party. These are individuals who have been the most visible public faces of the Congress party. Let's listen now to the delegates. We've heard the Darbaris yesterday. We will now hear the delegates today. Let's listen to this delegate who blows the cover from top to bottom. You, uh... तुम डेलीगेट बने हो ना बीपीसीसी में जी 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 तो ये मतलब ये डेलीगेट जब आप बने थे ये छह अक्टूबर को कब बने थे तुम ये डेलीगेट एक्जैक्ट डेट तो मुझे याद नहीं है महीने भर तो हो गया जी महीने से ज्यादा ही अक्टूबर में ना हम नहीं हम नहीं और इसमें मतलब वही था ना कि अजय माकन जी ने मतलब नाम देकर बनवाया था ना करेक्ट हाँ हाँ जी हमारे साइन हुए थे कुछ पे लिस्ट पे अच्छा 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 तो मुझे लगता है दो सौ अस्सी ऐसे डेलीगेट बनाए गए हाँ जी हाँ जी तुम लोगों का चुनाव उनाव तो हुआ नहीं था ना मतलब ऐसे कोई चुनाव वगैरह तुम लड़े हो ऐसे डेलीगेट नहीं जी नहीं जी ऐसा कुछ नहीं था वो तो ऐसे ही मतलब बनाते हैं ना वही सिस्टम होता है हाँ जी हाँ जी बस जिन लोगों के पोस्ट ही नाम रिकमेंड हो गया कोई कहीं से गया जिले से गया अजय माकर जी ने फाइनल से एक्सेप्ट किया है हाँ जी हाँ जी सबके फाइनल उन्होंने किया जी अच्छा 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 तो अभी तो 280 डेलीगेट दिल्ली में ऐसे बने हैं नॉमिनेट जी 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 अच्छा अच्छा सो लिसन टू व्हाट दिस मैन सेस ही सेस वेरी क्लियरली आई डोंट रिमेंबर द एग्जैक्ट डेट बट इट हैज बीन अराउंड अ मंथ और मे बी मोर देन दैट सिंस आई वॉज अपॉइंटेड अ डेलीगेट ही गोज ऑन टू से Ajay Makan gave names and those were selected right. That's the question that was asked by Shahzad Punawala. He says, yes, we signed on the list. So we are basically fake delegates. Shahzad Punawala then asked, so this is how 280 delegates were selected. Raju Sharma, the Congress delegate from Delhi says, yes, that's how it was done. This is just one state. Shahzad Punawala asked, so there wasn't an election for becoming a delegate. Did you contest an election? Raju Sharma says, no, 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 there was no election. There is no election at any level in this entire process. What is one to make of this? What is one to make of this? There have been reactions that have been coming, of course, from the Congress, the Congress off record. Because obviously it doesn't want to face the cameras or times now. It knows that the questions will be too piercing, too incisive. They will not have the answers. The proof is overwhelming. And Raju Sharma is only one delegate. Now let me show you the Facebook pages, the Twitter accounts and handles of several other delegates. Let's play them out. Let's fire them for our viewers. These are individuals and you will see. This is Mudit Agarwal, Jay Prakash Agarwal. That is Raju Sharma, of course, the delegate that we have stung. There's Yasmin Kidwai. Doubly proud today to become a delegate. Alka Jun also coming out saying, Ajay Makanji residents, thank you very much. I'm outside there. Thank you for making me a delegate. Let's just play out those. Let's look at those pages. It's very, very instructive. Madhav Das Gupala Krishnan also joins me. Madhav Das Gupala Krishnan, this is a violation of the Congress's constitution. Well, Rule 12. Well, absolutely, Rahul. It is Rule 12 and also the entire process that is, uh, uh, you know, there in the Rule 11 as far as the Article 11 of the Pradesh Congress Committee itself. Now, who are the Pradesh Con Congress Committee members? They are supposed to be elected from the Block Committee level, whereas that election has clearly not happened. On the other hand, the Rule uh, very 12 very clearly says, Article 12 very clearly says that it is all members of the Pradesh Congress Committees who are to be, uh, you know, seen as delegates of the All India Congress Committee. There is an election that has to be taken at that level as well. So, on multiple levels, these violations have been taken. It is the chief of the Pradesh Congress Committee who, you know, uh, elects or, or rather selects these people rather than their election itself. And that in itself raises a serious question. When Rahul Gandhi had promised that he would, you know, change the entire structure of the Congress party, ensure that merit takes primacy over anything else, then, of course, why is he going back on that promise on the eve of his own uh, elevation as the president of the party? Why does this election then have to be fixed? That's a question that Rahul Gandhi yes. will certainly have to answer internal democracy within the and Congress. And Madhav, as you are speaking, the column on the left, the column on the left of you, or the right of the screens, just pay attention to that column. 
Yasmin Kidwai, Congress leader, another dynast, comes out proudly, proudly became DPCC delegate headed by my grandmother once. Became, not elected. She says Norm Manmohan Singh was Became. Not Let's look, thanks to Ajay Mankanji for assigning Sai Anamika as DPCC delegate. Assigning, not elected. This is Sai Anamika, Congress leader. Dinas are also delegates in this party. The whole system, from Darbari to delegates to Dinas, have taken a hold of this party. And Rahul Gandhi told us that he is going to bring change to the Congress party. Yes, he's made it more entrenched. Absolutely. As a, as a proprietorship as a thief of certain families. Mother. Absolutely. Absolutely, Rahul. In fact, what we see over here is clearly dynasty perpetuating dynasty. It's not just about the national capital. Here we see this being replicated many times over as far as state committees as well. I can just begin to reel out names of various, uh, you know, dynasties that are there as far as the regional level, as far as political parties, uh, particularly the Congress is concerned. And that's exactly what has perpetuated itself in those tweets that we've just put out on the screen in the number of delegates that are present because clearly it's something that is perpetuated from generation to generation is what is quite evident as far as the Congress is concerned and that's really something that should raise some very serious questions about the kind of internal democracy that is practiced within the Congress party. Is there even internal democracy or is just a you know, self-propagating or, or dynasty propagating machinery yes. that let's, we see Let's listen us. once again to this tape, the latest tape. After that we'll play out uh, the Manish Tiwari tape because both when you look at them in uh, continuity, you get the entire picture. Let's first play out the tape of the delegate who has gone on record to say he was not elected. Even he was selected. You are a delegate in the DPCC? Yes, yes. So, when you were a delegate, when you were a October, when you were a delegate? Uh, date to I don't remember the date, it was a month and 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 a हां जी हां जी बस जिन लोगों के पोस्ट ही नाम रिकमेंड हो गए थे कोई कहीं से रहा है जिले से रहा अजय मार्टिन जी ने फाइनल सर सब किया है हां जी हां जी सब के फाइनल उन्होंने किए अच्छा 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 तो अभी तो 280 डेलीगेट दिल्ली में ऐसे बने हैं नॉर्मली जी 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 अच्छा अच्छा ओके लेट्स ओपन दिस अप वी आर जॉइंड बाय मिस्टर जीवी और नरसिम्हा राव द नेशनल स्पोक्स पर्सन ऑफ द भारतीय जनता पार्टी राजीव देसाई Public Affairs Analyst, Shahzad Punawala, Political Analyst and Lawyer, now Whistleblower, of course. Sunit Chopra, Senior Leader of the CPIM, and Mr. R. R. Raj Gopalan, Senior Journalist. I want to first begin with Mr. Rajiv Desai. Mr. Rajiv Desai, this is not, this is not an inquisition. This is an exchange of ideas. And in that... Flo, I'm asking you a basic question, sir. If there is no democracy... What do you mean by inquisition? Uh, what, one minute. what do you mean by inquisition, Rahul? I said this is no inquisition. It's not an inquisition. No, no, you started by saying this is not an inquisition. Yes. What does that mean? It means exactly what I'm what saying does it does. Mean? Because I know what your standard response is and I know what the Congress Party's response are you, is. Are you subjecting me to an inquisition? Is that the deal? I think you've uh, completely misunderstood the question or you don't understand sorry, the language. I don't understand the English all. language is very precise and my usage of it is even preciser. So let me come back to you. No, 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 no. So let Raul, me come Raul, back to you. Raul, don't, don't change the subject. Mr. Desai, I'm asking you, why I'm asking you I, this is not an inquisition, so don't I'd accuse like me that. of carrying out one. And I'm asking you a question. Simply this. You if a it. party does not respect the fundamentals of democratic due process, can it respect democracy as such? Well, it, it respects democracy as much as any other party does. Uh, actually, um, 
your, your charges would have much more credibility if you also ask the same question of the BJP. How, who elected Amit Shah? I, this is what, <laughs> here's the question. Now, as far as dynasty is concerned, why don't you ask these top, top three ministers whom Jairam Ramesh referred to in his briefing, which you guys never ever cover, why, why, why don't you ask the questions of those sons of those three ministers who have been uh, fattening their companies of the largest of the government? Why, why, I mean, why this one-sidedness, Rahul? I'm perfectly willing to say that, that there is no question, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's actually nobody's business what the Congress does. It's only what the Congress does in the electoral field that's anybody's business. And oh. in the electoral field, you can ask the questions if they're doing uh, uh, questionable things. But you should, you should, it, that, that internal, how is it anybody's business? So <laughs> if you're looking at the electoral field, then why don't you ask yourself the question, who's no, doing what why. in the electoral field? No. That answer. Then it becomes a little fair, no, you know, okay. Rahul. Otherwise, it's all just one-sided hit, hit and run, no, hit no. and run, hit and run. Okay. At okay. least, at least be fair. At okay. least be fair. First of all, Mr. Desai, no, I don't care no, what you minute, do please. with the Congress or the Sa Samajwadi or anybody else. Fair enough. But at least be fair. Fair in, enough. In, in the interest I think, of journalism I think and Mr. as a Desai, journalism teacher, I, I, I think, I Mr. Desai, you are very fair. well aware that these questions were asked of the Bharatiya Janta Party by me when I was in another channel. No, I'm not aware of this. One second, no, when the process... No, because we did share a large number of platforms together. Now, let me just no, be very you. honest. I'm no, one second, Mr. Channel. Desai, look, you, you can't... It's not personal, You can't, Raul, you can't also personal. hit and run. So, listen to the answer. You raised some questions and okay. I said, let's have a conversation. Why should everything become a sort of a you know, back and yeah. forth diatribe. So let me just answer you. The elections to the presidentship of Agreed. the Bharatiya Janata Party happened a subsequent time back. These questions were raised. They were not just raised by anchors. They were raised also by people within the Bharatiya Janata Party. You are very well aware of that. You also had a process of inquiries being made. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. Well, sir, then I'm sorry you're not well read. Then we can't have a conversation. Because... You know that the Advanis of the world, the Yashwan Sinhas of the world, they all question the procedures. Now, if you don't remember all of that, sir, I'm sorry, you're not well researched to be on this platform. And therefore, therefore, I have to quite implicitly tell you, you should brush up before you appear on TV. Now, Mr. Shahzad Punawala, the question is very simply this. Yes. I just got the information to be on your show an hour ago. Well, sir, facts are facts. They're not undenied. You seem to know a lot of other facts, but you don't seem to remember the ones that matter no, to the but conversation. My only point is, why Anyhow, can't you be fair? These questions why were asked, sir. Be fair? The party has answered them. The Congress does with its we, are it's, it's we are going back three and a half years now. We are going back three and a half years. It's the Congress party that is holding an election as we are speaking for their presidentship. That's why this entire expose or what have you becomes imminently, emergingly. Pressingly necessary. Therefore, you know, I want to bring I mean, in Shadab yeah. Punawala. Yes. Can I, can I just have one minute, sir? Claim. Give him 30 seconds. Just, so sir, what? Rajiv ji, you I said, know. So what? He's answering Please you. Please give me th one minute. First of all, my introduction was completely wrong. I am a Congress member. The reason why we are asking this question is because I have raised these questions. The reason why we are not asking the BJP these questions, and those are legitimate questions, is because I am not a member of the BJP. We are, I am a member of the Congress trying to ask my party these questions. I gave this proof to my party. Now, this Raju Sharma, please understand what you have heard. Raju Sharma's pictures are there with Sharmishta ji, with uh, Jay Prakash Agarwal, who is a fourth generation delegate. His son is a delegate. These are the dynastic delegates. Now, this person is saying on record that he, there was no election as required by the Indian National Congress's constitution. If he was one, I would have said, okay. Do you know the biggest thing that you have missed? Yasmin Kidwai not only says that her grandmother was once a delegate, she says in the tweet, my grandmother in a year that the PM Manmohan Singh ji is also nominated. I can't believe that Manmohan Singh ji would allow such a thing to happen to himself. Shouldn't he have spoken out and said that, no, this is a process of election, not a nomination? Mm -hmm. Then you rightly read out Alka June's tweet. She thanks Ajay Makan saying that thank you for assigning Sai Anamika ji as delegate. 
one more dynastic duo is ragini nayak she is the spokesperson okay, of the I mean, party so and her husband saying, ashok basuriya is also a delegate is this a dynasty delegate is it is this okay and i want to tell you on your platform rahul is a very responsible platform sir please one second sir i am a whistle blower please give me the respect of a whistle blower you respect yashwant sinha you respect arun shauri when they talk about bjp but you don't because these dynasty slaves can't tolerate anybody questioning the dynasty you don't want me to talk please hold on for 10 seconds i know you are in trouble i know the dynasty is in trouble but that doesn't mean you don't give me my time to speak sir so as we speak rahul ji i have got information this is i something i want to tell on your channel first i have not said it anywhere as we speak i have been told that a dummy candidate is being propped up against rahul gandhi to make it look like an election and secondly that who is the candidate that this that post dated no, post dated secret ballots are being created party. to to Shada, negate the I'm story we put out post dated secret ballots are being that's a big claim jada punawala on what basis are you making this sensational claim big claim this is big breaking news jada punawala now comes out and says the dummy candidate is being propped up any dummy candidate this is becoming more and more sordid Let's listen. Can I can I say my can I tell you how I know? How do you know? So no, it's not sorted. So please, please sir, Rajiv ji, please I request you. What I request you to not silence my voice. I mean, it has already been done by Rajiv ji. Mr. Rajiv Desai, give him his opportunity. Business, his three moments. Business of saying that a, a candidate is being propped up. How does he know? Sir He is going to tell I'll you. I tell you how. I'll tell I, you. I mean, I am pretty close to the Can Congress. You? I know a lot of people there. I am not a member of it. I know a lot of people there. But okay, I so don't let know him know how the delegates like are to be. He is making the claim. It's his owners. This is big breaking news. And if they put it up, then it's okay. This is big breaking news. Let's listen. Let's listen. I have asked no, him that no, question. No, how can no, you say no. this? I am asking the same question as you are. We are on the same page for the moment. Yes, sir. Three days ago on Wednesday. When we sat down and you asked me, how do you know the system is fixed? I told you I will prove it, and I proved it. You asked me, no, is this responsible? I gave you responsible leaders who spoke to me and told me that the, this is a proprietorship. They agreed that the system is rigged. They said there is a one-way ticket out of the party. They said that it's 100% selection or election. The only people who are lying is the Congress dynasty slaves who said I am not a member, and I proved that also wrong. sir i am telling you people have told me in confidence that a dummy candidate is being prepared for a cosmetic fight so that my claims can be disproved okay. and the well, secret ballot system is being done post dated pre dated is being done pre dated we can't endorse unsubstantiated claims if shadab punawala cares he needs to come out the with the proof and tell us who are these people who have told him and tip them off why doesn't congress party's people well, deny it? well Let them deny. I, I, let because them say the, that Rahul because, is the only because, candidate. Because because this let is not announced. This the is not the dummy co candidate has not been announced. Maybe we'll ask them after. Now one minute. I, I just I want to go across. I want to go I'm across to Mr. G V R Narsimha Rao. Mr. G V R Narsimha Rao, Rajiv Desai raising questions in turn of the B J P. Your response to this tit for tat. You have to say. You're not that important. No, he can't do that. No, Rahul. Rahul in the Congress party. the kama the the reins of the congress party oh are always God, in the gandhi nehru family the fact that sonia gandhi had been uh, the congress president for the last uh, nearly about 18 years and she had herself declared that rahul gandhi would take over from her so this was they were operating more like some kind of a mutt where the family alone can nominate or family alone can pass on the reins of uh, the leadership to the next generation there is they have naturally not put up even a pretense but the reality is that you are not registered as a proprietorship uh, uh, business you are registered as a political party and you are registered with the election commission of india and therefore you ought to function you cannot say okay if don't question about how we function within the party mr rajiv desai you are completely wrong this is not a family enterprise it is registered as a political party the registration with the election commission of india is is based on certain norms Did I say and you have to look Rahul, you have to show that you conform to those norms of being a political a party you cannot say it's my private what business who the hell are you to ask me questions Wh this is completely nonsense? Nobody has said this that is the reality. This is not nonsense. It is a registered But you seem to be completely illiterate on the subject. In India. In I fact, think it's not world. a Gandhi Nehru family proprietorship. If they have registered it as a you, Gandhi Nehru family all, proprietorship, GDS, and if they were operating a as a family Then business and with a bank account somewhere, then they would be conforming only to the proprietorship act. This is they are not bound by proprietorship act. 
They are bound by the don't uh, talk uh, the guidelines and the norms of the election commission of India. You know, they are you registered know as a political nonsense. party, Nobody has said as a, a national party, enterprise. and it's therefore the they must conform to the guidelines. In okay, you, in the BJP, you, you are nobody knows who the Congress I mean, I party, who get, the BJP is president would be. I mean, no one knew in 2014. Is there? I mean, do you have no? I think that's what I mean. I think you seem to be completely illiterate. Okay, you don't need to get Mr. Desai. One second, let the other speak on this show. Your you your can't disrupt. You take great umbrage when people interrupt you, but you have no no respect for sanctity of other people's opinion. So please. Don't be illogical and illiterate. Okay. Let me bring in Mr. Raja Gopalan. Mr. Raja Gopalan, we have a crisis on our hands. A crisis See, of credibility as far as the Congress is concerned. There are individuals now, even delegates who have come out and said that at the end of the day, even we ourselves have been selected, not elected. Now that is shocking. Raghul, by your exposure, every day the story gets murkier and murkier. It is high time. The election commission also intervened. Not only that, the returning officer of Rahul Gandhi's electioneering, ha! Yam Ramachandran, should now cancel the delegates' names and cancel the election. It is high time. The Rahul Gandhi's election is postponed. Otherwise, there is no internal democracy. What Manish Tiwari said, it is a proprietorship. Exactly correct because 90 crores of rupees of AICC was given to National Herald. That is why Manish Tiwari said it is a proprietorship. And if you allow this to happen, murkier and murkier dirt will come out. It is going to smell foul. Okay, let me bring in the left. Sunit Chopra. Sunit Chopra, would you now come out and suggest to us, sir, that this entire process should be called off that we must have elected delegates so that there is free and fair election for the presidentship of the party mr chopra you are talking about a particular party and its internal elections that's their business if people respect it despite all this, good for them. That's all I can say. But when you look at the elections of our country, which first passed the winning post, you have people like Mayavati getting an almost equal amount of vote as the SP and the UP government going to SP. You have seen what has happened in the elections just now in UP. What Your whole country today? is, is that skewed. Are we debating that? One percent of the people own fifty-eight percent of the wealth of this country. Where are you going to get democracy from? You have to transform the economic system and the political system. He's saying you're not a member. Then you can talk about what political parties are doing or not. So then we come back to the point, Mr. Sunit Chopra. It is unfortunate that you should be so dismissive because it's political parties that are entrusted by the people through a process to represent their concerns. And when they come to power, they are expected to do the bidding of the people. But if a political party itself is doing the bidding of an elite, then you have this situation that you are talking about. So in a sense, you are conceding that it's the elites that have taken command and control of the heights of both the executive as well as so the economy. And this has happened of out of the 70 years of Congress of rule, out of the 70 years of our independence, sir. At least 55 years, years have been under Congress, Congress rule. Alone. So the Congress it must then take the responsibility. You have actually proven the point. It's quid pro quo. It's quid pro quo. The, the dynast, the dynast elects the dynast, the dynast elects the dynast. You have a perpetuity, continual perpetuity of the same set of families. And you can see that, sir, the delegates, some of them are fourth generation. Fourth generation. Fourth this, generation. This and this is really. A yes, critical yes. point. Just critical one, point. But this one is more line. the reflection of the inequality of the system you have been running. That's, that's all very well, the Suniji. The system needs a transformation. Suniji, that's all very well. well. He's, he's actually right because he's, he's right. speaking. He's speaking no, as a leftist. He's speaking as an individual who has completely, no, completely spoken out. Here is the problem. Since the day they were formed against what they believe is here, here, a kind of oligarchy. Here is the problem. Sunit ji sat yeah. on this channel and applauded Yashwan Sinha, he applauded Arun Shori, but when my party said I'm not a member, he didn't say, no, it's wrong. And secondly, 
forget me sir rajiv is saying i have no haisiyat rajiv ji manishankar ayer on 8th october only two people can be congress president mother or son this is a reported statement it's been quoted by financial express it's been printed in across the publications rajiv ji meri to haisiyat nahi manishankar ayer bol rahe only two people can be mother or son can you please give us your expert comments on this or will you still save and try to defend that system No, no, I'm not answering your questions. Are you mad? Okay, sir. No, no I'm not answering your questions. Answer the question. Rajiv Desai is silent today. Why? Answer you the question. You must answer, Mr. Rajiv Desai. Only, a, you are only a the mother and the son can become president. You must come president. out. Don't be chamchagiri nahi karna hai. All this, all this, sir, for you. What's to answer? It's a charge. There's no, no question. It's a, it's a, it's a statement of fact. Money Shankar Iyer has made a statement of fact. The There's no question there. Ninety crores. There is no question. We made an assertion. So what are you getting? Money what Shankar are you getting out of repudiating so democracy, sir? What, what am I supposed to answer? I must ask. We must ask. Iyer said what he wanted to. Don't be chumcha. He said to me, "What is that to do with me? I am questioning the partisan nature." Of this entire qu entire line of inquiry, no, no. Is that why you can? Am I saying this? The it's Mani Shankar Iyer who said it. You should it is several it other. It's, you, it's Mani Shankar who is you saying it's a proprietorship. What do you mean by the term proprietorship? So let's no, no. Let's 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 ask. Does anyone say that about the Bharatiya Janata Party? Do they say it's a proprietorship? Do they say that mother and son will run the Bharatiya Janata Party? So what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Let me bring in Jeevan Narasimha Rao. Is this not a question to be asked, a legitimate Some question in a democracy as open as ours, sir? Why would I answer any questions, Mr. Mr. Narasimha Rao? Why is an assertion a question? I don't know. Absolutely, Rahul. I, I Rahul, I, after, you see, uh, the, uh, the statements of uh, Mr. Sonia Gandhi, statements of Manish Shankarayar and uh, 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 Manish Tiwari, all these really show that there is not even a pretense of an internal democracy. Forget about having elections. They are not be. They are not even putting up a pretense. It's such a threat to a democracy. A party that is actually getting wiped out must actually have some semblance of an internal democracy. So, this is a party which is functioning purely as a family enterprise. And if some individuals you know ask democracy? questions about the party, BJP. you have many individuals Seriously. in my party who have been who have been Seriously. raising questions about us, who have been critical of our leadership. You've seen this happen all through the last several months. We have not taken action even against such people. Whereas you are oh, questioning Shahjada being not uh, uh, oh Shahjada being even a member of the Congress Party. We have not indulged in that kind of uh, disowning of our leaders because they were critical of the party. It. I have you never questioned it. You simply don't have any democracy. I have never questioned you it. You want to you you are I, trying to are celebrate you dictatorship. Words in my mouth? GVL, you please you please don't put words in my mouth. Don't put words in my mouth. Sir, the problem okay. is. No, no. Okay. I am uh, Rajiv. All that I am saying is, like, when yeah, was yeah. the last time, at any level, an election was held in the Congress Party? That's a question that must be answered. When was the last time any election held in the Congress Party at any level? Sorry, my sorry, my my mic fell off. He's asking you straightforward. When was the last time an election was held in the Congress Party at any level? 1897. I can't hear. You. I'm sorry, my my mic fell off. I couldn't. My earpiece fell off. Simple, straightforward question. When was the last time that an election was held in the Congress Party at any level? I I. I no, simply I don't no. Know. No election. I don't. I couldn't hear it. Rahul, my, my, my mic fell off. This is not even a selection, Rahul. Because when somebody is selected, selection happens. The merit but is also I am a consideration. None of your Here business. Here it is pure imposition. Okay. You want to stay in my party? party. None of your business. Well, listen to some of these no, states. That's, that's your business. No, 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 no. It's not my no, business. It's your business. Wrong. business. I think as the you know, all of us have, 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 have a right to question. Is you can come in there with my party. This is an internal matter. It's not anybody's business. Democracy. It's an internal business. I'm not talking about anybody's business. You can't question people's internal business. I'm not discussing people's internal business. I'm not discussing internal family matters of the Congress. If the Congress does something in the public field, which we have seen in 2014, it is thrown out. And more power to the military. It's very individual in their terms of individual. Sir, unless Rajiv stops saying things which are irrelevant, I will not be able to speak. 
And well, if you there have is no, no business, internal you democracy have absolutely in a no business to talk about it. Any citizen can raise his voice. Sir, you, can I you, please make an important point, sir? Democracy don't roll off your tongue in a democracy. Sir, in a pleasant sir, see, I don't want to be a part of a tutu meme of a person who's on the on the payrolls of a dynasty. Can I please have one minute of silence so I can make my point? Sir? Make your point. Shadat Punawala wants to make a point. We will then move on and take a break. Yes, go ahead. Some people are saying this is an internal party matter. Firstly, I am an internal member, so I have the right to raise this question. And secondly, if they can't have democracy in the party, when they come to power, how will they have democracy outside the party in the government? And thirdly, sir, you question everybody else and the world but for their freedom of speech there. and when they don't have democratic procedures, why is Rajiv ji not saying that whatever he's seen so far raises several questions? Why isn't he not commenting on Manishankar Ayer's statement? It seems that this dynasty has kept so many people on its payrolls that they are even, even uh, difficult for them to accept the truth, the hard truth that I'm pu putting out. Are it is very, it Rahul, is very disturbing. Please, Rahul. That Look, Yashwant I want Sina to make three clarifications. But Rahul, Unawala this is not is, fair. I will not speak this to you. This kind of accusation. One guy accused... They can't just put words in my I'm not any, nobody, I'm, I have never received a penny from the Congress. I have not said I have never worked for the Congress, personally, except in, I didn't in 97 as on in, a, in an advisory capacity. I never Please said your name, sir. This. I never Shazad, said your name. You're feeling guilty for what you just said. Sir, this I'm is a generational guilty. dynasty delegate dance. You know, you know dance. what you're talking That's about, Shazad. Don't... Don't be disingenuous. Okay, we're going to take a okay. short break, but before that, we'll play out the Manish Tiwari tapes once again for viewers to refresh their mind. This is what has sparked this all off. Listen. Hello? Yes? <coughs> Revolutionary, you had called? Sir, I saw unknown number. I figured only one person will call me from the unknown number. Martin, how is Ramji calling you? I have no number too. Oh, he does. Yeah, I had no idea. I just thought the only person with an unknown number I have is Manish Tiwari, so I thought he let me call him back. And, uh, but I was, uh, I was told uh, you reacted on my <laughs> resolution as well, did you? No. Achha, achha. But uh, he said, I mean... They asked me, they asked me that, uh, that uh, did he work with you? I said yes. He used to work with me. Huh. And he used to work very well. Achha. You know, this Congress party is so scared that I will go and contest. Uh, they said I'm not a member of the party. You won't believe it. I have an email from the party's uh, official this thing for the office bearers just yesterday. I mean, they have signed letters of AICC press release. I have the signed uh, letter of my appointment. I have signed, uh, I have got uh, official emails from the Maharashtra Congress for my two programs and for other programs of the party which are sent only to office bearers of uh, the state office bearers. This is like, you know, dated November and October and they are saying I am a member of the party so that I can file the nomination. But uh, this is the thing. You need to be a PCC member to contest? You need to be a delegate to contest, but you see the problem is, uh, Maniji, that you know Article 12 of our Constitution says that delegates have to be elected by a secret ballot in a, uh, in a, by the boot level workers. Now, frankly, I don't, uh, I have never seen any secret ballot election taking place. Yes, one second, yes, one. Yes, one. Yes, one. Uh oh, Chief, I will reach the office at 12.30 only. I can actually come to meet somebody. Uh, okay, done. Yeah. Hello? Huh? Yeah, so I'm saying that I have never seen a single secret ballot election taking place for these delegates. How are these delegates made? They are made essentially the state president, who is also, who's also selected by the Congress president, gives his names and gets, gets those people made delegates. Have you thought all this through? Because, uh, you know, uh, this is a one-way ticket out of the party. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. You see, as long as, see, I don't want any post, I don't want any ticket from any party, and I don't want any ticket from Congress party. The point is that how long will dynasty or, or just the fact that you bear a legacy over, override your merit? I'm not saying I have any problem with people with surnames, but the point is that merit should be seen. For instance, in Delhi, you had a Najah Markham who lost, her, he was a cabinet minister, he lost the Lok Sabha, he then lost the Vidhan Sabha. 
deposit in Nevada and Sabha. He came to zero seats in Delhi. He lost the MCD. We were down to number three. He lost the Bawana by poll. But why is he continuing as a Delhi Pradesh Congress Committee chief? Is this his merit? Is there a talent, or is it pure psychophancy? And because he, he, like other state presidents, will put anybody as delegate. Let's not, let's not get into an idealistic discussion. Hmm. The fact is that this is a proprietorship. Hmm. Okay, it is not a political party, and no political party in India is a political party. They are all proprietorships. Hmm. Okay, this is the second wave of uh, reforms which are very essential for democracy. Hmm. Now, if you want to be a pioneer of the, for that, mm. and uh, you know, put everything else on a hold, you know, then uh, it is worth doing it. But uh, uh, if you would have spoken to me, what, what is, I'll, I'll have to call you back. Sure, 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 sure.